In this episode, we take a close look at thyme. Now, I planted this by putting a plant in the ground, but here I chose to sow seeds. Now, the challenge with sowing seeds is that you're going to get all sorts of other things grow, and you can't be quick to weed because you might be pulling out the very plant you want. This plant here is Verbena banariensis. That's not what I want. That's not the time. But if you thought it was, you would leave it, and then it would grow three feet tall. So you have to pay great attention to what's growing and look at leaf shape. The, the seeds that we want have got tiny, tiny leaves, and a little bit of uniformity will indicate that they come from seeds. This is what we want. And it's a real challenge. You have to get down and you're all forced to spot them. Now, the magic of camera, we fast forward and here we have our seedlings. But as you can see, we've got a mix of weed in there as well. That's the babina grown up. We've got another weed in there with the thick, uh, thick leaves. But I can see in there lots of thyme. Babina, that's the thyme that we want to keep. So once you get your eye in, it becomes much easier. And bear in mind that growing a plant from a seed is very, very cheap. A packet of seed cost me, I think it was $3. And when you see what we end up with, you'll see why the effort is worth it. Here we are with our seeds much older. Very clearly we can see the individual plants are, are flourishing. But you can now get in there and see which of the weeds and which needs to come out. This is worth keeping, this is not worth keeping. And uh, there's no other way than to do it by hand. Carefully going through and plucking out the weeds at this stage means that they won't crowd out the small seedlings that are still set to germinate. Germination is very varied. You kind of get a flush and then another flush of little seedlings that will grow. So this, believe it or not, is going to fill out and turn into a very full and bushy this. Um, here we are in early August, and with a sharp pair of scissors, not clippers, I'm busy giving this a bit of a haircut. Uh, if you want to, you can save the time that you trim off it, but I'm cu cutting back to within an inch of the edge, leaving it about an inch and a half high, and the scissors allow you to get really good accuracy. You get a nice trimmed edge, and any little wispy bits that don't want to be cut, you can easily get the scissors in there and do a nice job. Uh, use the edge of the bluestone, and that's a great marker for you to make sure that you're cutting parallel. There's nothing else like this. This is a living tapestry. You get in there, you trim it, and you get this nice, crisp, organic feel. You come back to this site in two weeks' time, and it will have put on a brand new flush of growth and look just beautiful. This is not what you find your landscape contractor offering you. They will never do this for you. This is something that you'll have to do yourself. Buy the seeds, lay the slabs, sow the seeds, weed the seeds. Thank you for watching this Time for Time. Please like and subscribe.